Vandalay is the name of our band. Um, I currently live in Chicago. Jake currently lives in Lansing. So we kind of have two two homes. Um, very familiar around Chicago and the Chicago music scene, and as well as Lansing in the Mid Michigan area. We met in college at Michigan State University. Go green. Uh, <laughs> um, but a, a mutual friend of ours uh, had set us up sort of on a on a blind, <laughs> we, like a blind jam, right? Yeah. Like a blind date. So we go over to a house party of his, and in the basement, uh, we just started jamming, and we we talked about this last night. It's literally been ever since that you know that's what we do we jam we're big Seinfeld fans and that's kind of a reoccurring um, George Costanza company Vandalay Industries and our previous band name um, it was getting us you know we were finding ourselves getting booked with certain genres because of the name of it was called Cadillac Casket and so it was so very, very metal. Very metal. <laughs> Even though we weren't metal, right. it was metal. And so, you know, that was definitely uh, directed. Let's not make this, you know, we kind of want to ease off the tension. Let's make it a little more fun. And even though we're serious musicians, um, we wanted uh, a band name that was fun. And, and when we thought of Vandalay, click. I think our, our, our music is a bit, it's kind of a, I don't want to say wall of sound, that's what comes to mind, but in a good way. Um, it's powerful, it's uh, melody driven, um, it's groovy, um, it's, I mean it's rock, there are rock elements to it, and it has an electronic component because we're a duo, we have a lot of electronics involved with our sound as well, keyboards synth bass uh things like that right and, and what's cool about it is that you know we do all of those instruments right it's us doing those instruments mm -hmm. with the obviously the foundation and rock um but then with the extra element of you know adding that kind of electronic sound um where jake does the keyboards and the drums and sings and i do the guitar and bass and sing and for us to be able to do that you know uh, Keeping it fresh, keeping it, you know, building on top of the rock foundation and making it more modern. It's, it's pretty, people get a kick out of it live. We take into consideration our, our uh, production value as well. Like, we, we map our own lights to sync with everything that we play on stage. Um, yeah, we, uh, we, we just work really hard. Uh, being an independent artist, first and foremost, gives you the freedom to do basically whatever you want without expectations. Well, you, your boundaries are a lot less, uh, you know, confound, right? However, you do want to push yourself into getting into, you know, not going a little, not going crazy out of those boundaries, right? You still want to maintain some sort of, what's the word, um, familiarity with your audience, right? You want them to be able to find your music accessible, dance to it a little bit, sing along to it. Also, you know, the pride that you get after you, you know, you pack a house um, and you promoted it for two, three months and you pack the house and you get all kinds of good, you know, attaboys afterwards and that was great and then, you know, you get that next step and maybe you meet somebody or maybe bigger you, offer. You get the doors continue to open and yeah. every time you have one of those little bits of success, right, it's just very meaningful for us um, and is that inspiration to keep moving on and, you know. It's just fun knowing that everything to this point that we've accomplished has been because of what we have done.
And a conversation we've had lately is success, the, the look of success continues to change. Um, because back in college, when you'd play to 15 people at the local bar down the street, that was a success. It's like, hey, we got 15 people here. Yeah. Um, and then you keep working on your craft and you keep working on writing. And um, I would say even our latest record is a huge success because of how far we've come songwriting. And every step of the way, success sort of changes, and, and we're all at. It's never enough. It's you know we we played House of Blues at Chicago, uh, we played Lincoln Hall, you know, and uh, we played the Metro, we played Common Ground in Lansing, um, and all to really really big crowds. And it's like, all right, what's next? Like, mm-hmm. let's start regionally touring and hopefully start getting that many people out. So yeah, success is constantly changing. Yeah. 